Eye contact, eye contact, eye contact. The most important part of your body language. Today, we won't be sharing the old techniques of eye contact, like staring at someone's eyes for too long. Come on, this trend is too old. Instead, we're back with an exciting topic that you may have never known before, or maybe only 2% of people were already aware of. Now, listen to me, why is eye contact important when talking to someone? But wait, don't assume the wrong perception in your mind. Some of you might be thinking that if you look at someone's eyes for too long, it would be great and they'll think you are intelligent or whatever, blah blah blah. No, this is the wrong way to practice eye contact. Looking at someone's eyes for too long may disturb them, or you might come across as weird. Instead, maintain eye contact only when the other person is also looking at you. Sustaining eye contact for 8 to 10 seconds might feel like staring, so keep it to 4 to 5 seconds. By doing this, you appear humble and confident, a person with a humble personality, no attitude or ego, but tremendous confidence. Don't make yourself a ghost in the other person's mind, as they might feel uncomfortable if you stare at them for no reason. So today, we will discuss the humble and confident way of maintaining eye contact. Let's dive right in. 1. For 2 1 Go This technique can be useful for maintaining a humble and confident eye contact. When you notice someone looking at you, try this. Look at their eyes for about 4 seconds, then shift your gaze to their whole face for about 2 seconds. And finally, after a brief and friendly smile for just 1 second, look away. This approach might make them slightly confused about your actions. If they are comfortable individuals, they may break eye contact. However, it's essential to be mindful of individual differences and cultural norms as not everyone may respond positively to extended eye contact. Always prioritize making others feel at ease and never make anyone uncomfortable by staring or using excessive eye contact. 2. Calm your face. In an interview, it's natural to feel nervous and anxious, but it's crucial to remind yourself that you have studied and possess knowledge in your field. You are there to convince them that you can handle their work. Try to keep your face calm, even if you are scared or nervous. A gentle smile can help you appear approachable and at ease. Maintain a friendly eye contact, but avoid staring intensely. Instead, relax your mind and hold eye contact for about 4 seconds, then shift your gaze to their face for about 2 seconds. After that, take a brief, subtle break from eye contact for about 5 seconds and then repeat the process. By doing so, you'll exude confidence and increase your chances of making a positive impression on the interviewer, increasing your chances of being selected. 3. The 50-70 Rule The 50-70 Rule aim to make eye contact about 50% of the time when listening and around 70% when speaking. This balanced approach helps create a connection without making the other person feel uncomfortable. 4. Smile and Nod Pair your eye contact with a warm smile and occasional nods to show engagement and understanding. Smiling during eye contact can help create a positive and friendly atmosphere. 5. Practice with a friend. You probably played this game with your family members or friends where you maintain eye contact for too long until your eyes start watering. So if you feel uncomfortable with eye contact, practice with a friend or family member. Ask for feedback and gradually increase the duration of eye contact as you become more confident. This was a quick and short video on practicing eye contact. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We are very close to reaching 1000 subscribers so help us grow. Thanks for watching.